Hi, this is Justin from rcknowhow.co.uk. Um, this video has just been made to answer a question uh, that Joe posted on their website the other day um, asking how I'd fitted um, CVA shocks or oil filled uh, shocks to the front of my Tamiya Grasshopper 2. Um, this is the standard Grasshopper, uh, which I think the shocks are the same on the Grasshopper 2 as well. Hopefully, you can see that. Very, very basic. This Grasshopper is rather tired and indeed of a um, a strip and a rebuild but here you can see very basic uh, coil sprung shock at the front um, a simple bracket at the bottom and the uh, screw or the main shaft of the shock actually goes through the top arm of the, of the shock tower there on the front now on the uh, grasshopper 2 what I did when I fitted CVAs is I used a set of front shocks from uh, my desert gator when I upgraded those to aluminium ones, I took them off and put them on the grasshopper too. Um, they're a little bit longer than the uh, standard grasshopper shocks, um, a few millimetres, so it gives you a little bit of extra ride height, you can see that at the front there, um, gives you a little bit of extra ride height at the front, um, but they do fit okay. All I did to fit them was used a couple of the same brackets that you use on the bottom of the uh, original grasshopper, there, the bottom brackets at the bottom of the shocks there, there I had some of those spare, they come um, usually get two or three separate uh, spare in the kit or you can get them on eBay um, but I used an extra pair at the top uh, some short short bolts at the top there just to go straight through the shocks so you need in total I think you need four bolts uh, a couple of little brass uh, bits of brass tubing to go through the top of the shocks through the shock caps um, and two brackets to get them to fit um, you could probably play around with the length of the shocks you could perhaps get some shorter ones Ansman do a lot of um, different lengths of aluminium shocks which are very very nice um, and only about five or six pounds a pair so you could do that quite easily but that's how I how I fitted them standard fitting at the bottom um, which goes straight through the bottom of the uh, wishbone there or the lower arm so that's the same fitting at the bottom it's just the top there where you use the um, little u-shaped bracket um, you could probably make some brackets actually quite easy out of a bit of um, aluminium perhaps um, don't need to be anything fancy but they're the standard Tamiya ones ok, hopefully that answers your question Joe um, for more hints and tips on uh, RC cars how to get the most out of the hobby uh, please visit my website www.rcknowhow.co.uk and if you've got questions uh, by all means email them in um, through the contact form on the website or post them in the Q&A section and I'll uh, do my best to answer them for you ok, cheers, thanks for watching Ta -ta.